Now, there is another thing called resonance. All of you must have heard यार मेरी फ्रीक्वेंसी उससे नहीं मैच करती है सुना ऐसे कभी यार हम लोगों की वेवलेंथ मैच नहीं करती है यू हैव हर्ड दिस हैव यू हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ डी ब्रोगली वेवलेंथ हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ डी ब्रोगली वेवलेंथ लैम्डा इज इक्वल टू एच अपॉन कुछ भी है एच अपॉन टू पाई अरे वो एच अपॉन टू पाई एच अपॉन पी पी इज द लिनियर मोमेंटम सो There is a thing called duality of matter. Like पहले बोलते थे कि photons के लिए photons have a dual nature. Light has a dual nature. You can't say is it a particle or is it a wave. It displays the properties of both particle nature also, wave nature also. So photon actually has both the properties and it is a wave also. It is a particle also. Now. De Broglie hypothesis says that matter matter also has wavelength. That everything has a wavelength associated with it, and that is very cool. Now, for um, objects which have mass, rest mass like electron, actually later later it was realized that there are many properties of an electron which can only be described when the electron is treated like a wave. so when very small objects even having rest mass then they when they started moving with higher velocity they also started displaying wave characteristics very badly very strongly so now it has been established that most all matter has dual nature we also have dual nature and the photon also has dual nature the more the velocity will be tending to see the more will be the wave properties dominating and the more it will be less than see the lesser the velocity the lesser the wave nature will manifest particle nature will dominate so now when do we say that we are what is what is the meaning of resonance please understand there is a thing called natural frequency please understand this if this is a mass and i i i leave it with some displacement spring constant k and i displace it gently and leave it it will have a fixed time constant it will have a fixed time period after which it will repeat the motion and there is a certain that one upon time period is called frequency so in one second suppose it is making 10 oscillations so if i displace it thoda zyada ya thoda kam it will always make 10 oscillations in one second you know that is the time period dependent on amplitude please tell me suppose i stretch it by dx suppose the time taken is uh, the frequency is f1 if i displace it by 2x 2dx will the frequency remain same or change same reply fast will it change or remain same it will remain same it will remain same so displacement uh, uh, frequency is independent of the amplitude frequency depends on the mass and the spring constant now when you displace or disturb a system the system oscillates with its natural frequency this frequency that it has got what is the frequency please see this this is omega is root k by m this is called angular frequency and angular frequency is 2 pi f f is the normal frequency angular frequency and normal frequency mein this is the relationship that omega is equal to 2 pi f so frequency is actually 1 upon 2 pi root now this is the frequency of oscillation and whatever displacement you give at dx 2 dx 3 dx whatever a small displacement you give it will always oscillate with this frequency in one second it will always make these many oscillations independent of the amplitude now this frequency is called its natural frequency please write it down so whenever you displace any system gently from its equilibrium position it starts oscillating if it is a simple harmonic motion in that case the frequency with which it oscillates is called its natural frequency now another idea that i wish to give you is before coming to resonance is the next thought is suppose sulbi is झूला झूलने को क्या बोलते हैं व्हाट डू वी कॉल स्विंग स्विंग 
Okay, suppose she is on a swing, whatever you call it. Now, suppose if length is L, mass is M, will the time period or the frequency, like in one second, it'll, suppose it is coming, going, coming, going like this. Suppose in one second it is coming here five times, suppose. So what is her frequency? In one second. So five is the frequency. Number of oscillations in one second is called frequency. So it she comes here to this extreme position five times. Now understand this. Now suppose here Ashwarya is standing and the moment Surbhi reaches this position, she push, pushes her. She pushes her and applies a force. Tell me, tell me is Ashwarya's force also periodic in nature or not? Yes, it is periodic. She is applying the force only when Surbhi is reaching here. Tabi ye yu dhakka maar rahi hai. Jabhi Surbhi ya nahi hai, tabi nahi kar rahi hai kuch bhi. Hrithik Roshan bina baat karta hai aise. Dekha raha wo dance. Have you seen that dance? Yes. He is doing that unnecessarily. Aishwarya will do it only when Surbhi will reach the extreme position. Then Aishwarya will push her. So, is Aishwarya's force periodic in nature, yes or no? Yes. Aishwarya's force is also going to be applied every time when she will reach here. Is the time period constant 2 pi under root L upon G? Yes. So, Surbhi, whether the amplitude is less or more, every time the time taken by Surbhi to reach this position is same and the moment she reaches here, uh, Aishwarya pushes her, applies a force, external force. When the external force is applied on a body please understand this the body tends to whenever you apply an external periodic force the body will try to change the frequency of the oscillation of the body and generally it is equal to the is it is equal to the uh, frequency of the applied force the body tries to suppose there is an shm please see this and mass m and k now suppose i left it free what will be the oscillation frequency will it natural frequency or not it will be oscillating with natural frequency now if i apply a external shm external uh, device which is producing a artificial shm but that shm has some other fre frequency so will the frequency of oscillation of this mass be governed by that external agency yes or no but in the case, if external frequency is same as the natural frequency of this body, suppose Aishwarya hits Surbhi exactly when she reaches here and is stopped here, every time after the same time period, the frequency of Aishwarya is same as the frequency of Surbhi, then actually Surbhi will start oscillating with maximum possible amplitude. Her, her amplitude will keep increasing every time because the effort is constrictive. And that is called resonance. So you understood what is the meaning? There is a thing called natural frequency. There is a thing called external applied frequency. When the body is doing SHM and it is disturbed gently, which frequency will the body vibrate with? Natural frequency. Natural frequency. If I apply an external agency and external frequency and make it forced, such vibrations are called forced vibrations. And when the body oscillates, it will oscillate with the frequency of the external agency, applied agency. If I make the frequency of the external agency equal to the natural frequency, then that is called, that situation is called resonance. Please write it down. So, how many of you understood the meaning of resonance? Now please understand. In past, when armies used to cross uh, bridges, they were told to break the march past while marching. Now please understand what is the meaning of that. Yes. The march past frequency, please understand this. If the, if the, that pull, uh, that uh, bridge has its own natural frequency of vibration, if the march pass frequency starts matching with that, then the, uh, uh, the, the bridge will start vibrating or oscillating with maximum amplitude and it will break. And it actually broke once. 
No, it and then I, uh, there was a earlier there was a uh, musician called Tansen. It was popular about him that he used to attract. He used to break glass full of wines. He used to break them. When he used to play music, he was he the the, the glasses used to shake, vibrate, and uh, break. He used to attract clouds and get rains and all these kind of stories. They have scientific basis behind them, and it is possible if your uh, if his music's frequency, if his uh, instrument's frequency matches with the natural frequency of vibration of uh, the the container or whatever. Like it is scientifically possible that you can break those things. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. So that situation is called resonance, and you will learn about it in sound waves when you will be studying the chapter called waves. So waves need these kind of terms to be crystal clear to you. So when do we say a body uh, or a system is in resonance? When do we say that? When the when the applied frequency on a system is equal to the natural frequency of oscillation of that system. We say the situation is resonance, and the body will oscillate with maximum possible amplitude. It is not like it will keep on increasing only, but maximum amplitude in case may be. Okay, so we understood resonance. So again, this was qualitative in nature.